now let's see uh, the number of nodes that can be present in a you know binary search tree like avl one thing is how many maximum nodes can be present in a binary search tree like avl so if you have if you want a balanced binary search tree okay uh, then maybe you can fill up all the nodes right that is also called as full complete a uh, full binary tree what is a full binary tree is if all the leaves are present in one level and all the nodes above that uh, level is completely full then that is called as a full binary tree like this see this is a full binary tree this is a full binary tree right and this is a full binary tree okay so what i mean to say is uh, you know in a, the maximum number of nodes that can be present in a uh, tree of height h or the maximum number of nodes that can be present in a avl tree of height h both are same isn't it so in general if you talk about the normal tree and if you say the maximum number of nodes that can be present in a tree of height h or if you talk about the avl tree and say the maximum number of nodes that can be present in a avl tree of height h both questions are same if you want to fill completely a tree of height h it doesn't matter you know whether it is going to be an avl tree or a normal binary tree isn't it so the maximum number is going to be same let's derive it see now let's go with the standard definition of height see height definition it varies from question to question they are in case if they mean something else they'll definitely give you so let us go with the standard definition of height what is the height the length of the longest path from the root to any of the leaf is called as uh, you know height so the maximum number of nodes in a tree of height zero uh, is one isn't it the maximum number of nodes in a tree of height 1 is see this 1 plus 2 power 1 isn't it the maximum number of nodes in a tree of height 3 height 2 is 1 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 2 what about the maximum number of nodes in a tree of height 3 3 okay so height 1 is this and height 2 is this and height 3 is this isn't it then how many maximum number of nodes are present in a tree of height 3 1 2 4 8 8 8 8 right that equal to 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 then how many maximum number of nodes can be present in a tree of height let us say h then by induction we can say that it is 1 plus 2 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 2 plus 2 power 3 plus so on plus 2 power h right now uh, what is this it is a, a geometric series what is the common difference 2 a into r power you know number of elements minus 1 So how many number of elements are there? H plus one, isn't it? See, two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three, so on, two power H. Therefore, total number of elements are H plus one. Two power H plus one minus one divided by R minus one, which is two minus one. So which is two power H plus one minus one. Therefore, maximum number of nodes that can be present either in a real tree of height H or in a normal binary tree of height H is two power H plus one minus one, isn't it? and now let's talk about the minimum number of nodes okay now minimum number of nodes which can be present in a avl tree of height h okay now uh, again we shall go with the standard definition height being you know uh, with one uh, with one node like this uh, what i mean to say is see the height definition is going to vary from question to question and in case if you observe the way we analyze the you know avl in the avl tree construction if a, there is a single node only one node then we we believe that the height of that particular node is uh, one that is how we computed the balance factor isn't it but then in many of the questions you know the height could be starting with zero so let's go with the normal definition of height even though the definition used in construction of uh, avl tree is different let's go with the normal definition of height okay now uh what i mean to say is with height 1 or with height 
this is the avl tree right it is balanced and with height 1 this is the minimal avl tree right so this is the minimum number of nodes that has to be present in a avl tree with height 1 and what about uh, avl tree with height 2 i cannot leave it like this because it will get imbalanced therefore this is it right this is the minimum number of nodes that can be present in a avl tree of height 2 isn't it and what about height 3 so for in order to construct the height 3 how can i construct it uh, see i want the minimum number of nodes right now i'll take a i want the height 3 then i'll take a height 2 tree and to that i'll add a root so that the now the height will become 3 right and then i'll balance it out which means like this see this now in order to construct a no you know tree of height 3 i'll take the tree of height 2 which means this one this is a tree of height 2 got it and to this i am going to add a root now what what happens it will become a tree of height 3 right and now it is imbalanced so i have to balance it out if this side i have added a tree of height 3 right and if it has to be balanced then how what should i add on the other side i can ha I, I have to at least add tree of height 1 isn't it at least one why because if you add a tree of height uh, you know 0 then what happens is here the tree is of height 2 and here the tree is of height 0 therefore the result is going to be imbalanced right therefore you know if you have to make up a tree which contains the minimum number of nodes right of height h then what is that i am trying to do i'll take the tree of height h minus 1 to which i'll add a root therefore the entirely it is going to be tree of height h but then it is going to be imbalanced therefore on the other side i have to add exactly tree of height h minus 1 right why i cannot go for height h minus 2 because if i if i have height h here and height h minus 2 here then the balance factor here is going to be 2 that is not an avl tree but then i, I am not even supposed to go for height h on this side if i take height h and this side also i take height h what happens is both of them are going to be uh, it, it is not going to be a minimal tree i want to have as little number of nodes as possible and still make it a avl tree so now you understood this if i let us assume that okay let's write the recursive equation for this let us say n of h represents number of nodes or n of h represents the minimum number of nodes that can be present in any tree of height h again uh, the n of h represents the minimum number of nodes that can be present in an avl tree of height h now how can i build it i assume that already i know that i already i know a tree which is of height h minus 1 right now in order to find the minimal tree uh, or in order to construct a minimal avl tree or the number of nodes in the minimum avl tree with height h equal to uh, find, first find out the number of nodes in a tree of height h minus 1 and to that you add the root now what happens we can make the height of the tree to be h right and now it will be imbalanced and to just balance it out we are going to add one more tree on the other side which is of height exactly minus 1 right so which means if this height is h minus 1 the other side height should be h minus 2 got it so we are going to build the entire tree by using the building blocks so in order to build a avl tree of height h i'll use the avl tree of height h minus 1 and to that i'll add a root therefore this entire thing is going to be avl tree of height h and it is going to be imbalanced therefore on the other side i'm going to add avl tree of height h minus 2 right so this is the recursive equation now using this recursive equation you can solve all the equations right in case if they ask you what is the minimum number of nodes that can be present in a tree of height uh, let us say 4 right you can extend it or 8 or 10 anything you can extend it right and moreover uh, this question can also be used in other way see if the minimum number of nodes that can be present in a tree of height h is so and so that question can even be asked as what is the maximum height you could get with these many nodes are you following it the same question can be asked as what is the maximum number of nodes that can what is the maximum height you can get with a tree of height so and so okay let's solve some questions here you'll understand it then then you know how are you going to end it i mean how are you going to uh, what are the base conditions here so whenever h equal to 0 so how much is this sorry if h equal to 0 
then it is 1 right and what about h equal to 1 see when you put h equal to 1 it is going to ask you for h of minus 1 that is why you should not put h equal to 1 there so when h equal to 0 this is the case and when h equal to 1 2 is the number and what about h equal to 2 i think you can you can now find it out right h of n of 2 equal to n of 1 plus 1 plus n of 0 right so how much is this n of 1 is uh, 2 plus 1 plus what is n of 0 is 1 which is 4 isn't it now check this h you know when height equal to 2 the number of nodes are going to be 4 right what about n of uh, 3 n of 3 equal to n of 2 plus 1 plus n of 1 right now what is n of 2 n of 2 we just found it out right 4 plus 1 plus what is n of 1 n of 1 is 2 therefore it is going to be 7 got it so one one other kind of question which they might ask you is you know what is the maximum height that we could get with a tree of node 7 with uh, with a tree having you know seven nodes in a real tree what is the maximum height we can go for 3 isn't it what is the minimum height we can get with a tree of node 7 the minimum height we can get with a tree of node 7 is uh, hmm, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2. Right? Are you getting this here? Right? There is a difference between these two questions. Try to understand it. What is the maximum height of AVL tree you could get? I am talking about AVL tree, not the normal tree. This is the maximum number, this is the maximum number of nodes which can be present in AVL tree of height h and you know it turns out that even for the normal tree also it holds true and this is the you know, minimum number of nodes of a tree of a avl tree of height h what about the normal tree what about the minimum number of nodes that can be present in a normal binary tree of height h h plus one isn't it why see this this is the uh, minimum number of you know height zero is this and height one is this and height two is this and height three is this Therefore, in a normal binary tree, the minimum number of nodes that can be present in any tree of height h is h plus 1, right? But then coming to this uh, AVL tree, I am talking about this. This is the minimum number of nodes which can be present in a AVL tree of height h, right? Now, uh, one kind of question is this. Using this equation, you can derive any big number. Let us say you want to find out number of nodes of, uh, you know, uh, minimum number of nodes present in a AVL tree of height 4. Then how can I find out? then I can substitute it here n of 4 equal to n of 3 plus 1 plus n of uh, you know 2 then how much is this 7 plus 1 plus 4 right which is 12 right so you can continue it like this right so now what I mean to say is one other kind of question which could be asked is if we have seven nodes then what is the maximum height we could get in a avl tree right then what is the maximum height three what is the minimum height we could get in a avl tree minimum height is two right if i have uh, you know 12 nodes what is the maximum height i could get maximum height i could get is four what is the minimum height i could get i think minimum height i could get is three one two three isn't it so here there are more than 12 nodes right so that is how you could answer it okay so if you want to go for the maximum the maximum height we could get in a avl tree then the question is same as minimum number of uh, nodes required to make up that height isn't it so it is just logical you just think about it i know you need not by heart anything you can just practice it like this examples and you will understand it okay fine